What's up, fam? Welcome to another episode of Verbal Pick Radio, Everyday People, the movie. We are Verbal Pick Radio, where we give you a verbal image of life. Also connected with Everyday People, the docudrama, you can check that out. At the Reggae Bodega, 4816 Almeda, Houston, Texas, 77004. Let's jump into today's topic, dealing with relationships. Actually dealing with women. I just want to address some certain concerns that women have uh, brought up uh, throughout the time dealing with men, black male in particular. Look, one, there is not a man alive that can read your mind. You can't expect a man to do certain things as a test to see if he care about you without saying, hey, could you do this? Uh, would you mind doing this? Um, look, I need you to do this for me uh, and put it on the table because in today's society, this is not the 1930s, 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s when things were moving at a slower pace and a, and a man had time to uh, to uh, decode what his woman wanted and then provide that for her. Those days are gone. I mean, look, if you don't swim, you're going to sink, meaning that you got to have to be out in the society building, creating. you on the net. You, you, you're constantly moving forward to produce. So your attention is on survival so you can provide security. You can provide a roof over over your family's head, uh, clothing for the children, uh, nutritious foods, all of that costs nowadays. You know, uh, you have to damn near buy organic. You got to get alkaline water. Some of Dr. Sippy products, some of Dr. Kane products, uh, sea moss. I mean, there's so many things that has to be provided. And a man's mind is focused on those things as well. And we know a lot of female minds are focused on it as well. And think about it. If you are a single uh, mom, say you're raising one, two children, right? And it's just you. You have to make sure the, the grades are on point. You have to make sure they're eating properly. You have to make sure that they have the health insurance and that their health is uh, being taken care of. Not along with uh, doing stuff for yourself, your cars, your gas, putting the cars, the traffic, the, the day to day, dealing with your boss, dealing with your coworkers on the job. That's a lot to deal with. So then just imagine a man and say if the, if the female is working or if she's not working. Just imagine the female saying, you know what, I'm going to dump all my problems on this man and he's supposed to solve everything for me while I sit back and reap the rewards. And it's not, it don't work like that in today's time. Those days are gone where uh, you have mostly just the male providing for the whole household unless in a woman she's the housewife unless that housewife uh she knows how to go in that grocery store with those triple and double coupons and she come out of there and you got a week's worth of groceries and she only spend 30 40 dollars if you're on your coupon game uh in that sense then you are kept contributing because the money that is saved, and that's the money you taking family outings, you going on trips, you hit the cruise, you save over uh, eight months, and you are getting ready for the summer. Or you, or if it's if it's uh, you're in a cold environment, you might take your career, a, a, a cruise to the Caribbean or whatnot, as you save that that money to get there. But it's a process, basically, is what I'm saying. And so, women, you can't. You can't be selfish and think about all your needs, but you're not thinking about what it details for that man to get out there and accomplish some of those goals that, uh, things that you all may want. It's very important for the female to put her expectations on the table and see, okay, can we meet these expectations instead of hoping and wishing and you have thoughts in your head and you waiting to see if the man gonna create what you got 
thought up in your head like he can actually go inside your head and see the vision uh, that you have it's impossible matter of fact uh if 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 certain things that you want when he first meet you he should be seeing that the direction you're going meaning you're already headed towards that and he's just assisting and he's headed towards the goal and you just assisting you can't be uh start off with zip with zilch zero nada towards the goal and you saying i want this i want that and you know the man looking like well okay well what have you done so far to produce that you was waiting for me to come along to produce your reality i'm not your father i didn't create you the god created you and 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 what it says that uh whatever you seek you seek in the name of the god so whatever you trying to aspire to then your creator uh, will assist you on that path. He'll create the foundation for you. The man is just a, a helper. It's like the woman is a help me helping a man reach a goal. But when a man meets a woman, the man is already on his goal and she makes the poster poster make that journey a lot smoother. But true, if a man doesn't have a goal and doesn't have a destination and focus, then what can you help help the man do what? He don't even know where he's going. So, of course, it's, that's going to lead to a dead end. But women, stop, man. Stop thinking that men can read your minds. It's impossible. It's not going to happen. Another thing, women, TV is TV. Reality shows is reality shows. It's not real. Stop looking at these reality shows and then look at your man and be like, uh, why are you not producing that for me? Hell, the 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 TV stations, the the the, the corporations are giving away that stuff and helping them so they can make the show successful. You trying to bring uh, a, a false reality into a real world and have and make it substance. It, it shows a sign, and that's why men look at it, will look at you like, are you serious? What? Are you living in a fantasy world? Come out that fantasy world and live in the real world amongst real people. And how you acquire those things is through uh, your effort, your hard work, your smarts, your research, your planning. Then you plan up to the goals. You can't look at a show and say, well, and try to map because you got your idea on what you think you want from a television show. Somebody else implanted that idea in your mind and then you looking at people in the real world to help you produce what somebody planted in your mind from a television show. That's insane. It, 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 it's crazy. So stop it. Stop it. And one more other thing. Look. Look. There will come a time. Right. And it may be sooner than we think. There will come a time to where men will have to take on more than one wife. Where did that come from? Now, at back in the day, when warring tribes would, would go to war, and uh, a friend of yours uh, got killed in battle, you have to come home tell his wife, "Hey, so and so got took out in the battle. She said, uh, now who's gonna hunt that food for? Her? Who's gonna protect the family? She has a child." You know, who's going to help in the upbringing of that child? So his friend or someone in the village had to take that woman and that child on into their family and incorporate it and create the village to raise a family, meaning that he had to take on another wife. Not the fact that uh, he was looking to take on another wife, but the circumstances and the situation presented it, and out of love for humanity he couldn't see that woman and that child struggling trying to maintain the hut and build and, and mend uh, places in the roof that that faded out or that got weak and it's raining in the hut and so forth so he had to go over there and help and whatnot and so he just merged everyone together brought her into the home and his wife understood and he had more than one wife and their children playing together and whatnot and they that was part of building the community until the selfishness uh took place to where the woman was like ah right, that's her problem you know let let the god uh help her you know that's her problem and she's starving and the kids starving and 
the village turned they back, then what that sets is what that sets within the community is that damn, if it happened to one, there's a possibility it can happen to all because, you know, you're gonna have disputes, you're gonna have wars, and so you giving the example of uh, you putting fear within the village, saying uh, when you go to war, you better win. Hopefully, that none of the soldiers get killed because that wife. Plus that one wife, it'll be two wives and two children in separate huts that's starving and the community got to walk by and look at that travesty every day. And then they'll have to shut off their feelings and now you're cold hearted. So that was the purpose of more than one wife. And I'm saying that today, uh, it's coming back around today's time because damn, man, look, you just had Malik Yoba, Malik Yoba, um, with the transgender issue, I, and I'm still, what the hell? Look, let me, let me say this real quick on that, dude. There, first of all, there's no uh, she with a, they saying a transgender female. Look, that's, if if you put a dress on a man, it's still a man. It's like if you put, if you put a, 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 a chicken costume on a rabbit, it's still a rabbit. If you put a, a a a a dog costume on a cat, you don't think the other dogs know that that's a cat? You know, prancing around in a dog costume is come on. So when y'all saying it, a uh, 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 she he and a it's a man dressed up like a woman. Malik Yoba, Yoba was going after men that dressed like women, and so saying that, I'm just saying, look. I'm saying, look, there's a time when women will be in a position to where, which we are already, women are already outpopulate, especially in the black community, to where that man is going to have to take that woman on with his wife to save the fate of the race. Because you got men going after men. Um, you have women going after women. You got men being locked up. You got certain diseases out there, and you got women who wants to be with a man. It's her nature, her natural nature, but yet the um, the options are few. And so, she deserves to be loved and cared for just like any other woman. Um, those men who understand that to save the faith of this society, certain instances, things like that, in the future, we have to put that on the table. Uh, think about it. You're a man, and you with your wife and your family, and, you know, y'all going to enjoy a vacation, or y'all going out to a ball game, or y'all at the mall shopping or whatever, and you pass by a female and her son that maybe the husband got killed or whatever, shot, got gang violence, who knows, and you see, you know, you see the the stress and strain on her face. You know how how happy she was once was, and you know you have the money to uh, bring joy or smile to that one's uh, life. Um, it'll come a time to where you have to look. You have to set the rules up. Look, I'm bringing you in, but I don't want a lazy woman. You're gonna have to help around the house. You have to cook. You're gonna have to uh, if you have a job or you have to go, or go get a job. Supply, bring forth some economics, let's build, create a house, build real estate, let's create a business, you work and let's build for the benefit of the whole, which will help the community as a whole. And that child will have some structure within his life instead of out there uh, fighting for themselves and everybody turning their back like, hey, you on your own partner, you know, get it how you get it. Uh, matter of fact, take these drugs and get out there and sell, these, sell this dope on the corner and take these penitentiary chances. That should not be an option for the original man and woman who created civilization. That's all I'm saying. Uh, so, yeah, we got to do better. And there's a lot of things we got to work on, but, you know, we'll keep hitting you with these shows. And as I state, uh, Check out the docudrama and get the EDP shirt at the Reggae Bodega, 4816 Almeda, Houston, Texas, 77004. And we out. Click.